Christina Abbey here for a Signals AZ special podcast. I am with uh, Tony Merriman, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Flagstaff, and we are here to talk about the 2024 monsoon forecast. So, well, thank you for coming to the studio today. Um, really appreciate you coming in. And we're going to talk about the Arizona monsoon and what we should expect for 2024. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let's just go ahead and dive right in of what we're looking to uh, see this year. Sure. So for this season's monsoon, uh, what we're looking at right now, it's odds tilted in favor of drier than average monsoon season and odds tilted in favor of a warmer than average monsoon season. So when we're looking at seasonal outlooks, primarily we're taking a three month average. So that doesn't mean there's gonna be no rain. It just means that if we take the whole three months average and I'm talking July, August, September, um, odds are tilted in favor that we'll have less than average precipitation. Doesn't mean we can't have above average, it's just that's what the odds are right now. Okay. Okay. So now um, I saw something earlier this year that mentioned something about being an El Nino year. Is that the case or is it like, what is the difference? What we should we should see? So uh, El Nino and La Nina does affect the monsoon season a little bit, but it's mainly affecting the winter months and precipitation there. There's a much stronger correlation with that. Uh, but just looking throughout the globe and just different atmospheric circulations, things like that, what we're looking at um, throughout the world. Right now, it looks like the strongest sing signal is for drier than average and uh, warmer than average monsoon season for Arizona. So going into monsoon, when we do see some storms rolling in, what are some things that people should watch out for uh, for our safety during these storms? Yeah, so there's a multitude of hazards that can occur with any thunderstorm during monsoon season. Uh, lightning is a big one. Um, also damaging winds, flash flooding is a big hazard as well. And uh, even blowing dust uh, in the valleys of Arizona. And uh, later in the season, we might see a tornado or two, and we're talking September, October timeframe, but there's a multitude of hazards to watch out for during monsoon season. Okay, so and I know earlier in the season, I mean, monsoon officially kicks off, what, June 15th? Right. Yeah, June okay. 15th. Yep. So, and I know we normally see like warm, dry temperatures with the storms not really starting to set in until closer mm -hmm. to July, the beginning of July. Why do we see that? So usually a monsoonal pattern, uh, whenever that occurs, we'll have high pressure over the southwestern United States. So it's really hot. That's usually when we see our excessive heat warning days in uh, the, the Phoenix area. And whenever that high pressure shifts farther north and east into northern Texas, we can get the monsoonal flow off the uh, off the uh, Gulf of California. So that's more of a moist flow into Arizona. And we'll start seeing thunderstorms usually early July timeframe. That's when we'll start seeing buildups on the Mogollon Rim and and higher elevations. Just that got me thinking about that, but kind of circling back around to things that you might see um, during a monsoon storm. Um, you know, you mentioned lightning um, and then the flooding. Um, and two very big things that we hear all the time, those catchphrases of, uh, you know, turn around, don't drown. Mm -hmm. And then when it roars, stay indoors or go indoors, right? Right. So because lightning can strike, from my understanding, farther out than we realize. Um, from a storm. Yeah, so lightning can strike at, at least 10 miles away from the parent thunderstorm. So you can see it off in the distance, but you can get struck by lightning um, in an unfortunate circumstance. Uh, the risk is not zero. So whenever you hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, so this year we're definitely looking at some warmer, drier temperatures or we're warmer, drier weather. <laughs> Um, so that is kind of our monsoon outlook is, uh, you know, it's not going to be a heavy rain, more like a, what they call a non-soon. I wouldn't go that far. No. Um, you know, we're, we're just talking at, we're talking about odds tilting in favor of those two warmer, drier conditions. Now, uh, 2020 was by far the driest monsoon season we had on record. Uh, Flagstaff only saw a little over an inch and a quarter of rainfall. Prescott only saw about two and a quarter inches of rainfall during that monsoon season. Um, but, you know, those are at the extreme dry ends of 
are over 100 years of record uh, recording the monsoon rainfall. So uh, I, I would probably venture a guess, you know, uh, slightly less than average. And average for Prescott area is about seven and a quarter inches of, of rainfall during monsoon season. Oh, so, so quite a bit less uh, that year. Yeah, quite a bit less that year. Yeah. So the average is about seven and a quarter inches of rainfall for Prescott area mm -hmm. for uh, monsoon season. So still it's we're not looking at zero. Right. Right. Uh, but probably a little, you know, right now the odds are showing less than about seven and a quarter inches. OK. OK. Uh, so you uh, you've shared some graphics with us as far as the uh, seasonal precipitation outlook, as well as the um, temperatures outlook. Um, why don't you tell me a little bit about these two? Sure. So what we're looking at here is the seasonal precipitation outlook, and that's the three month average all put together. So this is for July, August and September. And when we're looking at that dark uh, brown tan type color uh, over Arizona, there's a increased risk or increased chance, sorry, of below average precipitation. And the way to read these you know, typically when we talk about chances, it's like 60% chance of something happening, 40% chance of something not happening. Well, we add a third dimension to this. And so whenever we're looking at these brown tan colors, so let's say leaning below average, if I were to say a 35% chance of below average precipitation, that means a 33% chance of near average precipitation, and then a 32% chance and I hope those three added up to 100 uh, of above normal precipitation. So these are called tersiles, which is three different categories. So whenever you do see that leaning below normal, 33 to 40%, that's one third ish of the pie. So 33% is always going to be near normal. And then whatever's left is going to be the chances of above normal. So it's it's more of a hedge, especially whenever the signals aren't really that strong one way or the other. But um, we're just talking probabilities. And, you know, we're pretty close to Las Vegas. So hopefully you'll see how the odds, you know, right now it's in favor of below average, but that doesn't mean that we can't get above average this this monsoon season. Okay. So as far as the temperatures... So looking at the temperatures, again, you know, the darker oranges uh, are better chances of above average pre um, temperatures. So it doesn't mean well above average. It doesn't tell you the magnitude of heat. It just tells you that the chances of above average temperatures will be this uh, monsoon season. So you can see that swath from the Texas coast all the way up to the um, Idaho, basically. And then you also see the swath across like the uh, the northeastern United States, um, caribou and all that stuff. But pretty much the entire United States has pretty good chances of being above average for July, August and September. So this is a, a cumulative three month outlook. And this is produced by the Climate Prediction Center out of Washington, DC. They look at all different uh, climates, what are called oscillations. So El Nino is an oscillation. They'll look at the North American oscillation, the Pacific, um, it's called the PNA. I can't remember what that stands for, uh, but they're looking at all kinds of global oscillations to come up with an outlook for, for three months. So as a meteorologist, I look at the next seven days. I like to be a little more you know, concrete with my forecasts and, and same with everybody else at the weather office and Flagstaff. Um, but these are more just kind of general outlooks so to speak. So you can definitely have cold days during those three months. Mm -hmm. um, you can definitely have wet days in those three months. But if we were to just to take the average of all three months, all 90 days, the outlook is for warmer than average temperatures and drier than average conditions. Now, these are just odds barely tilted in those favors. But that's kind of what we're expecting for this upcoming monsoon season. So do thunderstorms move in the same direction during monsoon season? So usually what we'll see during a monsoon season, just typical monsoon day, you'll have thunderstorms bubbling up over the Mogollon Rim. And depending on the wind direction throughout the entire column of the atmosphere, if it's from the southwest to the northeast, a lot of these thunderstorms will just drift off to the northeast into the Four Corners, Navajo Nation, uh, the Hopi Tribe in those areas, and um, produce rainfall in those areas. 
a lot of times what we do see is when the big circulation, the big high pressure over Texas, whenever that shifts just enough to where we can get actually a northeast to southwest wind in the total profile of the atmosphere, we'll still get the thunderstorms developing on the Mogollon Rim, but then they'll start drifting to the south and west towards Phoenix area, Tucson. And if there's just enough instability and enough organization that it can organize into what's called a squall line, but everybody else knows it as either a dust storm or a, a haboob that goes through the valley. And so it just depends totally on the wind direction and the wind speed throughout the column of the atmosphere to where the direction that the storms are going. So typically what we see storms bubble up on the higher terrain, move to the Northeast or bubble up on the Mogollon Rim, and then it can move to the Southwest and then you can get dust storms in the valley. Okay. Is that why when it comes from the Mogollon, it kind of meanders mostly to the East Valley? So it just depends where the thunderstorm just just pops up. So it's, it's different from day to day. It's not a perfect line along the Mogollon Rim. Uh, it's just wherever it heats up the quickest. That's usually the first storm of the day. And uh, that's where all the energy is going. And so if the wind direction is towards the East Valley, that's where it's going to go. The wind direction is towards the West Valley. That's where it's going to go. Uh, so, you know, it just all depends where it first develops and what the wind speed and direction is on that, on any given day. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it does. So as we know, uh, going into uh, the warmer months, uh, things do dry out a little bit. Um, and I know uh, with the weather the, looking the way it is, um, just one of those things everybody should probably keep in mind is creating defensible space around their homes. Um, so definitely check out um, information that we will have on signalsaz.com about creating defensible space with a CAFMA fire chief and Waters Garden Center. Um, and Tony, thank you so much for coming in today. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. Is there anything additional that uh, we should touch on when it comes to the upcoming monsoon? Yeah, so the official season is June 15th through September 30th. And I know a while ago it used to be when the dew point in Phoenix was 55 degrees or higher for three consecutive days. Um, but just to make, make sure it's consistent from year to year, it was changed to June 15th to September 30th. That's the same thing with uh, hurricane season. Hurricane season is June 1st through November 30th. Um, but it's just defined beginning and end dates. Of course, things can happen outside of those beginning and end dates, but usually we want to get folks prepared ahead of time for the upcoming uh, season. So, you know, just kind of be prepared for, for monsoon season. Uh, it, you know, Arizona, it's pretty interesting in that we have our fire season and then it goes right into monsoon season. So it's a really delicate time period, usually the last week in June. It's called a shoulder season yeah. between fire and monsoon season. Um, what the National Weather Service does is we have meteorologists actually deploy to the Prescott National Forest, their dispatch center during that um, time period, so that if there are monsoon thunderstorms that pop up right when peak fire season is happening, we can work directly with the dispatchers and they can communicate any kind of impacts to uh, or expected impacts to to the field crews out on fires. Nice. So going into monsoon season, how might a person uh, get involved with the weather service and knowing uh, what to expect or even do some training uh, so that they can help be eyes and ears on the ground for the weather service? So we're on social media and we do have a Facebook page and an X or formerly known as Twitter uh, page as well. Uh, if you do see any kind of weather like hail, high winds, um, or even a tornado, anything like that, feel free to take a picture of it and put it on our social media channels. And we have meteorologists monitoring that 24 seven. So we can get back with you if you have a question or comment or anything. Um, forecast is the most up to date really on our website, weather.gov, but our social media feeds are pretty up to date as well. We do have a couple of Skywarn Storm Spotter training courses during the month of May and June. Uh, the schedule is updated on our website, which is weather.gov slash flagstaff. 
and that's headlined at the top of our website. So if you want to check out the schedule, uh, see if it's updated, if we're going to be in your area, um, just check it out. There's no need to RSVP, just show up. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, hopefully we get some uh, good rains this summer. Yeah, uh, monsoon season will come. It comes every year. All so. right. Thank you to Tony Merriman, uh, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Flagstaff, uh, for coming out today and uh, being on the Signals AZ Cast 11 podcast uh, to share the upcoming Arizona monsoon for 2024. And thanks for tuning in. <laughs>